hello it's Jenny from Jen Skinner Art here um, some people have wondered how I've done the lids of my jars so uh, this one um, has been seen quite often it has my watered down PVA and this is a newer one I haven't got anything in it at the moment but I thought I'd give a quick demonstration on what I do this is stage one this is completed so let's just say I have an old jam jar and let's just say I have an old jam jar and this one is all gold there's no print on the outside which is rather handy sometimes you have a jar and they actually have like um, expiry dates or whatever on the outer rim they're a little bit more tricky to deal with but this one is all gold and it only has the expiry date in the middle now for a small one like that I just print my artwork out on um, stickers so this is a sticker sheet and it's by Avery what does it say NGA 14 so it's just a circle a small circle so what I did was um, put the circle in the middle and then I've decorated the outside so that it's all cohesive and then what I do is put a lacquer over the top you can print any kind of artwork and get completely different looks like that would be completely different to that one I'll put that one back but if you have a jar that's this size and your stickers don't fit, you can actually purchase a really, really cheap circle maker from the discount stores. It has a, um, a little knob here. It has a little knob here. And that allows you to shift this up and down according to what size you want so if I'm looking at this jam jar lid and I want my circle to be on the inside I can just measure that move it to where I think halfway is going to be about there tighten the little dial or knob so it's just shy of six centimeters you probably can't see that but it's that's what it is and then I can grab a photocopy of my artwork and I can have a look at you know what part of it would I like um, the top of the jar to be and I'm thinking I'd like the butterfly which is here So I'm going to put the middle of the, it's like a compass, the middle of the compass, the point, into the butterfly. And then all I do is twirl it around, just like the compasses we have had at school. I may not have pressed quite hard enough yep that's fine so now I have the center um, piece that will fit inside there nicely so I grab some of my Sullivan's glue put that in the middle spread it round And then I'm going to center my circle. I can take a wet nappy wipe and just remove the excess glue that I don't need because that's only going to make it harder to or longer to dry. And 
All right, so I want to make sure that that's centered. Great. Now I let that dry and then I come back like with this one and I can use um, my metallic markers. So this is a silver one. That's fantastic. You buy that from Aldi. Uh, this is the gold one. So it's $2 for a set of two. It's really, really cheap and you can get a really really nice finish on those and can you see even though I put the sticker on and it had my artwork I've actually gone over the sticker with some of my Smiggles pens and I'll just grab a few of those out some are Smiggles and some are from Officeworks and you can actually add extra dimension using these pens so I'll just do a bit of a circle design in the purple I want to pick up a little bit of the pink and I sort of want to spread it around I don't want it to completely color it in but I want an added dimension of the pink there pink was in the ori original artwork so that's fine there's a little bit of salmon too most of these are glitter which is very pretty. All right, I've got those and I might put a little bit of uh, glitter aqua in just to bring out. Actually, this one's not glitter. I'll grab the glitter one. And just go over a little bit. Glitter's actually hard to film, can you? Don't know if you can actually see that. Anyway, I just keep going, just adding extra dimensions, playing with colour. Then I set it aside to dry. And when I reach this point where I've put my sticker on or my paper, my artwork, and I've decorated it, I then go to a clear nail polish. And I always look for the cheap ones at the chemist. And normally a lid is slightly um, concave. So I fill that up. And then I just gently brush around the outside. I don't move too much because sometimes the nail polish will actually dissolve the paint and if you play with it too much you'll end up with it all smeared so there you go this one is now that the concave part of the lid which you can see here well, hopefully you can see it see how they have that concave it's dished in that's now full of clear nail polish 
and then there's one coat around the edges. So basically it works like an enamel. Um, I do actually have an enamel dryer. I can force dry this quicker, but mostly I just do it you know, in the evenings and then tomorrow it'll be set and all ready to go. One of the things you do need to remember if you're working with nail polish is to make sure that you're in a, a well ventilated area because it's very, very potent. But this one will be finished by the time I wake up in the morning and it's absolutely beautiful. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Give it a go. Nail polish is a wonder. Bye for now.